are you? Raise your hand if you listen to music. How many of you listen to music when you're stressed out, anxious, or all of the above? Does it help? So it's safe to assume that music helps us psychologically, right? Do any of you think music can help us physically? I do too. Let me explain. Music is defined as a combination of vocal or instrumental sounds to produce harmonies. So what's a sound? Well, a sound is just a bunch of vibrations that are traveled through air, plasma, or other mediums and can be heard when they reach the ear of an animal or a human. The key word here is vibrations. Vibrations are known to affect the human body in so many ways. In fact, a research study done in Berlin University demonstrated that the vibrations of a bugle can kill bacteria and germs. Isn't that cool? How many of you listen to music for at least an hour a day? Did you know that listening to music for at least an hour a day kills cortisol? Cortisol is one of the main stress hormones in the human body. It's what makes us frustrated or angry and all those negative emotions that we feel from day to day. The brain is one of the main things that uses music. We, we use music all the time to help us calm down, even if we don't know about it. In fact, classical melodies, pop music, and jazz can stop seizures and strokes from reoccurring. Did y'all know that? I know I didn't. Did you also know that music and your blood pressure and pulse have a direct relationship? So our heartbeat, or a human's heartbeat, at average is around 72 beats per minute. So if you listen to music anywhere from 70 to 75 beats per minute, you tend to feel calm and relaxed. While if you listen to music that's lower than 70 beats per minute, you feel edgy and anxious, but if you listen to music that's greater than 75 beats per minute, you tend to feel energetic and excited. How many of you know the seven syllables that are taught to us in music class starting from elementary school? I'd like to reintroduce my little sister to come sing those seven syllables. No. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti. In Carnatic music, a traditional South Indian form of music, there are also seven notes. Sa, di, ga, ma, ba, da, ni. The number seven is very important, so keep that at the back of your mind. How many of you know how long it takes for one blood cell to travel through the entire human body? I think I heard it, seven minutes. And one pluck of the vena, a South Indian traditional instrument, from the bridge to the base of the frets, for the vibrations to travel through the instrument, takes seven minutes. Mind-blowing, right? What's even more fascinating is that the structure of the vena is almost entirely identical to the human body. Let's take a look at this picture. As you can see, there are 24 frets on the vena, just as there are 24 presacral vertebrae on the human body. The frets, or the length of the frets, is 18 inches long, just as the human body spine is 18 inches. And the distance between the frets in the lower octave is quite thicker than it is for the higher octave, just as our spine is thicker at the base, or at the bottom, right here, than it is at the neck. What you did not know, probably, is that different scales played on the vena can actually provoke different therapeutic effects. And there are so many scales, as shown on this picture. And as much as I would love to stand here and explain each effect that each scale has, I know some of y'all want to go trick-or-treating tonight. So I'm just going to name a few. Natai gives courage and confidence. 
when played. Hindolum purifies the blood and it also decreases blood pressure or brings down the level of your blood or numbers of your blood pressure. Um, Nalanikanti gives off a pleasing effect when it is heard or played. And at this time, I would like to play a song for you guys on the Vina. Something strange, but it's also very familiar. It's strangely familiar. Thank you. <laughs> 